So that, that be, the ovary is sitting in here, and on this side here you can see it. That's the ovary, okay? But see this tube coming off it right here? It's not coming off it, this tube right, right there. Get out of the way, ovary. That's it, with the big finger right there. This tube here, that's the overduct that they're talking about, or fallopian tube. That's going to, the egg will shoot out, come into that, come down around and get into the uterine horn. These are the uterine horns. You do not have a uterine horn. You know that. This is the uterus. And this is the vagina. And sitting right in front of it is your urethra, and there's your bladder, there's your ureter. Here is the rest of the area. But this is more to show you the female and show that. Okay? Mm -hmm. and this is the male. Alright, so on the male, so that's all there is for parts. There's not a lot of parts. <laughs> People squish the testes to no end. So this guy's got squished, squished testicle. Okay? But here you can actually see spermatic cord coming off because it's so squished and separated. That's the spermatic, this is spermatic cord, the whole thing. This is the vast deference. Or ductus deferens. Up here, ductus deferens. Because here's spermatic cord going up into the inguinal canal. All right? So this would be the outside of the canal. The inside would be here, where it loops back around and comes out. The idea of it, it comes down in here, in this swollen area right here, dead center where I'm touching with the probe, is the prostate. The whole thing is urethra. Because in the male, it uses it for both. Sex and pee. That's both. Typical of a guy. Wasn't it just like disgusting? Drink his beer and pee and have sex. Efficient. It's a fit. We're efficient. Right. <laughs> and so, so, so the bladder's there. <laughs> and on here, you can also see everything pretty good. So you can see kidney, the ureter, right? Bladder, urethra. So that's all the same. Then here's the penis. It's cut in half. We're going to have to glue it back together with super glue. But here's the whole body, and this little part right here would be the glands. To pin that kind of impossible, since it's so little, the pin's bigger than the glands. But that would be penis. In the, you can actually see the crura of the penis, the bulb. So you can actually see this stuff. It's pretty good dissection where it shows, because a lot of times it gets disrupted. In the, in the, and this would be your scrotum right here. And that's it. But the vaginalis and all that stuff is off this. So if you look at this guy, give me that one first. So if you're looking at this, so it's kind of like, you know, I'm not making you learn the insides of them, but this would be the vaginalis. This is the albagina stuck right to the testicle. And this is the cremaster muscle. Okay? And this is showing you inside the somatic cord, kind of gross. And, you know, you can see the head coming right up because if you get deep in here, all this rough, this would be the reedy testes, all that. It's coming up and around the feet into the head and down it goes. This one gives you a better picture of the head. So on this one here, that you're seeing the, the coverings and the muscles, the master. That's it on that one. On this one, you're seeing... Stay there. Okay. So we're seeing the head... This is the epididymis now, all this. You're going to see the head of the epididymis, the body, the tail, and then the vast stephan right here. And that's all you need to see. Because this is becoming part of schematic core, coming back. Okay? That's it. So there's not a 